Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary, and this is a video overview of this knife, and this knife is the James Chapter Knife. This is a knife made by a gentleman named Ryan, he runs the James brand, and it is made in the United States. Looks like it's made in Portland, Oregon, and the knife comes in a couple different configurations. You can get it with a, a standard or a, a straight edge or a serrated, a partially serrated edge. You can get it with a satin finished blade, a black coated blade, and then you can get it with a satin finished titanium handle, a white finished titanium handle, and a black finished titanium handle. There's also a very limited edition with Damascus steel. The steel this knife runs is D2, and the knife is a titanium frame lock, sort of like the Savenza. As you can see, it has a black coated blade, this um, signature green, lime green thumb stud, and then it just has this very nice white clean look to it. Um, this is the, uh, the Stormtrooper model, and it just it looks very clean. I will note that the, uh, the clip is already dinged up, and I have used it exactly twice. This knife is probably six hours out of the box, maybe. Um, the titanium frame lock locks up quite well. There's no blade play in any direction. Um, the blade stock is relatively nice. It comes down to a very keen edge. I wouldn't say Spyderco sharp, maybe Benchmade sharp, uh, via a hollow grind, a nice high hollow grind. Um, there's chamfering all around the edges as you can see. Chamfering is actually quite good. It gives you a very nice feel in the hand. The knife doesn't have any jimping or any sort of grip of, of any sort. It's basically depending on your ability to pinch right through here and then rest that in your palm. I will note that this is a tip up only or tip down only pocket clip, and that it does kind of generate something of a hot spot given where it's placed. It's not too bad. Um, the knife is very very nice. It smooth. The action is is slow but good. Slow and smooth, sort of like a Sapenza, not flippy, not smooth and fast like you know my Benchmade 940-1. Um, the knife itself has relatively odd dimensions, and it's in part because of the way the knife is constructed. So the knife has the pivot, right, and then there's a, a stop pin, and then there are two screws here at the end with something like a back spacer. It's really just sort of like a tail spacer. But the end result is uh, they're given this design gives up a lot of blade length, so that what you get is a knife that. And let's see if I can hold it. There we go. You can see that it has a very unusual blade to handle ratio. And so comparing this knife to something like the Dragonfly, we line up the pivots exactly. You can see that there's, you know, maybe a quarter inch. Maybe, maybe less than that. But then when you get to the handles, They're not actually that different. Um, the knife, these knives are, are totally different design. This is sort of an aesthetics first, and this is an ergonomics first knife. But I think in certain ways they're kind of similar. This is obviously heavier, but it's a small knife. It's designed to be your everyday carry knife and do lots of general tasks. And so is the Dragonfly. This knife uh, comes from James at 275. I got mine on Huckberry, which sponsors the podcast. Um, and I paid uh, 240 shipped for it. The knife, as I said, has a D2 blade steel, which is good, but a little below par for the cost. Um, what you're looking at here really is, I hate to say this, but it's kind of a fashion piece. Look at the in unusual way that the lock bar relief is cut. It's kind of a fashion piece. I mean, this is really a knife that puts aesthetics first, but I think there's a chance that it turns out to be an actual good user I only know that after I test it. So, um, I had, like I said, I've had this knife for about six hours. I just wanted to put out a video so everybody could see how big it is and what it looks like. Um, the, the packaging is really cool. Um, there's another video online that shows the packaging, but uh, it's basically a, a plywood, a plank of plywood that's cut out to fit the knife exactly with a little felt cover. The, uh, the knife itself uh, fits very well in the pocket, the pocket clip takes up most of the knife, as you can see. Um, and it's relatively big, so that it means it'll be stable in the pocket. And the chamfering and then the very thin uh, profile of the knife means that it sort of just hides in the pocket. Well, a review will be coming